Good morning, YouTubers. How are you this bright and beautiful morning? Well, it's bright this morning because it stopped raining. Whoa, it was rain yesterday. Wow, just a quick update. I haven't done a blog for ages and ages and ages because there's nothing really to vlog about, really. I'm just... Everything's been COVID-19, coronavirus, blah, 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 blah. I'm getting a bit fed up with it, I think, really. So, hello. How are you all in the world? I'm just parking up, waiting for my wife. Just going to have a haircut. Now, I've been very, very lucky in one sense so that I don't, I don't need a haircut. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> it's been great. Some of my colleagues have been saying, oh, I need a haircut. I need to get me a haircut. I've got a booking. Uh, oh, I'm desperate. Well, I'll do it for you. I'll come with my little trimmers. I'll sort it out for you. I'll do it. These haircuts with a hole are catching on. Really, I don't really know what to, to really say over the last few months. Uh, so the whole point of doing this blog really was to do a little bit of a run around and have a look at some unusual things and give you a guided tour of Blackpool to some interesting things that's like, probably slightly different as you probably know if you followed my earlier YouTube vlogs I work for a funeral company so I'm, I get all of the place I get I'm doing driving limousines and hearses and stuff and we get out to all sorts of interesting places so I really wanted to have a little look at uh, some of the, the more interesting places in Blackpool because we've got some fantastic, fantastic, really, really interesting cemeteries here and uh, lots of interesting if you're into that sort of thing now question for you do you know what somebody who has a fascination or an interest for cemeteries and graveyards are called there is a special name for people who like graveyards and they are called taffa files taffa files you, you didn't know you do know we are like graveyards, I've always done it, ever since being a kid, even when I was little, before I started getting into working in the funeral industry, I went around looking at graveyards and gravestones. I always found the history fascinating, and churches fascinating, and buildings, old buildings, and things. So that's the whole point of doing this, but obviously I haven't been able to get out, because we've been in lockdown, quarantine, I think you call it in America. So it's not really, really much, much fun anyway. So that's what we're going to try and do, we're obviously back out on the road again, I'm back in the van. In the Chevy, uh, which is great to be out and about again. So what we're going to try and do is try and get around a little bit and have a look at some interesting things, and hopefully have a little bit of uh, make it interesting for you. Do some some historical things as well, and, and make things interesting. That's the whole point of this, really. I'm doing this. So welcome back. If you've if you, if you haven't had a look before, I also own a hearse as well. I've got a 1987 Cadillac hearse. Um, but it's, it's, it's just great, I love it to bits. I've always wanted a hearse. I'm a big American car fan as well. I used to have all sorts of American cars, Buicks and Chevy, still got a Chevy. Uh, and I've, I've had all sorts of things. Pontiacs, I had a Pontiac Trans. And uh, I can remember doing a show one day, and this the car show, this guy turned up with his Cadillac hearse, and wow, look at that, it's fantastic. I'm going to have one of them one day. So I managed to do it. Um, so I've got myself my own Cadillac purse, uh, which is good fun. Uh, as if have a look at some of my previous my previous postings. There's one of them is about the, the time I actually got banned. Put that up. Come on, mate. I got banned from a car show because it was a Cadillac purse by the local car club. Uh, and the funny story is, if you haven't, I'll quickly tell you again because I think it's funny. It makes me laugh looking back now. The uh, the surname of the person who ran the car club, I think he's still doing it, was a Mr. Hurst, <laughs> which is quite funny in itself. Anyway, they banned me from doing the car show because it was a, it, it was a hearse and it, it, was a, it offended some people. You know, but saying that, they still let people coming in army trucks and dressed in army gear with <coughs> guns and rifles and jeeps with machine guns on the back which are specifically designed to go and kill people so that was okay that, that's that's fine but not allowed to bring a hearse in anyway that's, that's, that's the way that it goes so there we are just a quickie a quick five minute blog I'm not going to take up any more time than necessary as you can probably tell these are not scripted these are just ramblings I'm an old guy in a van, so <laughs> have a great day wherever you are in the world. 
Um, and so it stopped raining today, which is great. So we can get back out and about. Uh, I'll try and do some more videos for you in Blackpool. If there's anything you want to look at, if you research, if you want to have a look on Google and that quick Google search for Blackpool, Lancashire, UK, uh, we've got some interesting stuff going on. We've got Blackpool Tower, we've got the Pleasure Beach. Basically, it's a, it's a massive entertainment centre in, in the UK where mil literally millions of people flock to every year uh, for a bit of fun and frivolity and just have a bit of a lighter moment in life. So if you want to Google that, if there's anything that you want to have a look at in this area. We've also got a, not too far away, inland, because obviously we're right by the coast here, and um, we've got uh, a lot of interesting witches. We've got a big, it's, it's witch country, Pendle Hill and all that area is all witch country, which is fascinating as well. So we'll try and do some more stuff with that as well. So if there's anything you want me to have a look at, if there's anything, oh yeah, Andy, go and have a look at this please, and we'll, I'll do my best to get there if I possibly can weather permitting and all that sort of stuff. That's it. Okay, enough ramblings. I'm going to say it all. Ta. Have a lovely day wherever you are, as I say. Uh, from under the, now the hearse and van man. Was it the van and hearse man? I don't know. It's on there somewhere. Uh, have a great day. You all have a good one. Take care. Bye for now.